first one is synthesis of rcrl a driving point impedance functions and synthesis of rcrl a driving point and admittance functions okay uh, yeah so if you see here up to this up to the previous chapters uh, from first to fourth unit so we discussed about the different types of uh, networks and uh, uh, we discussed about the for a given network uh, we find uh, we applied some excitations and we found the we find the responses means we find the output whereas if you see here this network synthesis synthesis is different right and if we are going to up to fourth unit Uh, if one circuit is given, and uh, we apply some KVLs and KCLs and uh, uh, different equations, and we find the outputs, right? Either I one, I two are uh, uh, parameters, two port parameters, etc., etc., right? But whereas here, in case of this network synthesis, instead of giving the uh, network here uh, for the given function, if one function is given, how to Uh, build up a network. This is reverse, right? Okay. If one function is given, we need to find out what kind of circuit is that. Is it RC circuit or is it RL circuit? And uh, is it a RC RL? Is it a impedance function or is it a RC RL? Is it is a admittance function? And how those are resistance and capacitor or resistance and inductors are connected? Either those two are connected in series or those two are connected in shunt. okay so those all we have to synthesize by using the uh, by from the given uh, functions right so in that first we will see the uh, harwood's polynomials okay so in, in network synthesis right yeah is this copied ma oh, one of please respond copy just now the topics no sir Is it visible, ma? Can you see me? Hello. Yes, sir. Can you check that? I'm respond out there. Because you know, only with one single piece system, I'm trying to post it. प्रॉपर्टी so there are five important properties of harwood's polynomials and they are written below right for all real values of s the value of the function the value of the function that is ts function okay function of s should be real okay the real part of every root should be either zero or negative and for fourth property uh, third property is okay for example 
if you consider uh, for a given function f of s the uh, denominator of that f of s okay is uh, bn uh, up to okay uh, from b not to bn okay here it should be noted that from b not to bn okay those all coefficient must be positive okay and should not be equal okay any coefficient that it should not be equal to zero right okay if one given a uh, function if it should, if, it, if it is a hurwitz polynomial that function it should satisfy these all properties okay for all values of s uh, the function should be real and the real part of every root should be either zero or negative and all the coefficients denominator coefficient should be uh, positive and and it should not be equal to zero okay and similarly fourth uh, fourth property the continued fraction of the continued fraction or expansion of even to the even to the odd part of hurwitz polynomial should should give all positive quotient term uh, quotient terms okay and even uh, and if the even degree is higher than the higher so therefore the continued fraction of expansion we have to take it as a uh, ratio of odd to the even part of the hurwitz polynomial okay so here also we should get the positive quotient terms only okay if the for the given function if the degree if the degree of that function is odd so therefore we have to uh, take the continued fraction as the denominator that is odd odd to the uh, we have to uh, uh, take the continued fraction continued fraction of expansion odd to the even part okay and the fifth condition fifth property if the given function is purely even or purely odd polynomial okay you must do you must do the continued fraction with the derivative of the purely even or odd polynomial okay and remaining procedure is same right now we'll see some we'll take some example uh, we'll take some example functions and uh, we have to verify either that given function is hurwitz polynomial or not okay so in simple words network functions are the ratio of the output to the input right so the, this is the general form of the uh, network function that is f of s equal to uh, we will get like this an into s power n and so on to the a not and uh, divided by bm into s of m plus and so on to the b not right is it visible on the screen okay yeah see ma so if the given function is hurwitz polynomial or not you have to check all these five conditions okay. so in the examination we are getting uh, questions like this test whether the given function is hurwitz polynomial or not okay yeah please note down these all five uh, properties ma so in the theory point of view also you are you are getting like this right the uh important properties of hurwitz polynomial okay all coefficients of bi must be real and non negative
next one the continued fraction uh, expansion of a expansion of ratio of r to even or even to r even to r magnitude gives positive quotient terms only okay if you so if you find the continued fraction for the given function okay you should get the uh, all these quotients should be you should get as a positive then only you can say that the given function is a hurwitz polynomial yeah that is the first step now so well uh, if you want to check uh, if you want to test it either it is a hurwitz polynomial or not so this is the first step step one separate from the given function first you have to separate it separate odd and even part of polynomial if the ratio of odd to even and even to odd parts of polynomial gives positive quotient then the polynomial is a hurwitz polynomial okay without applying the first step so uh, straight away also we can inspect this given function either it is a uh, hurwitz polynomial or not so how will you check it simply if you see here uh, for example if you take this example s power 5 plus 8 into s power 4 plus uh, 11 s, uh, s power 3 plus 16 s plus 9 is is not a hurwitz polynomial if you see here in the given function uh, this s square co uh, term is missing okay so according to the hurwitz uh, uh, polynomials hurwitz polynomials see here hurwitz polynomial properties See here. So according to the Hurwitz polynomials, you see this third property. The function must and should contain all the yes terms. Should not be equal to zero. So if you see here in the given function, if you see this function here in the given function, yes, s square term is missing. Okay, one coefficient, one. A coefficient is becoming zero, so that's why this given function it is not a Hurwitz polynomial. Yeah, right. Next, yeah, to see this uh, second example, function of p of s equal to s s power four s cube plus s square plus three s plus four. So this we have to check it. Either the given function is a Hurwitz polynomial or not. How will you check it? First, you separate all. Uh, even terms and odd terms so here even terms are it is denoted by n of s uh, m of s and r terms are denoted by n of s right so therefore n of s equal to s cube plus 3s and similarly even terms right so m of s equal to s power 4 plus s square plus 4 now if you take the uh, if you find the continued uh, fraction expansion by using if you find the continued fraction expansion We'll get like this here. So if you divide even by odd, so if you divide ms by uh, ms term with n of s, okay, even terms with odd terms, you will get the uh, this one see here. I'll show you. Test whether that given function p of s s power four plus s power three plus s square plus three s plus four is Harwood polynomial or not. Test whether the given function is 
అరుగుడు పాలనమేలా అన్నాడు ఓకే సో దీనికి ఏంటి ప్రొసీజర్ ఏంటిది సో గివెన్ పాలనమేలి ఫస్ట్ యూ హావ్ టు డివైడ్ సపరేట్ ఆల్ ఈవెన్ టర్మ్స్ ఈవెన్ టర్మ్స్ అండ్ ఆర్ టర్మ్స్ సో హియర్ ఈవెన్ టర్మ్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అడెంటెడ్ బై ఎమ్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎస్ పవర్ ఫోర్ ప్లస్ ఎస్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ ఫోర్ సిమిలర్లీ ఆర్ టర్మ్స్ that is s power 3 plus 3s right now so according to the uh, hurwitz polynomial properties if you divide uh, either even by odd terms or odd terms by even terms okay the continued uh, fraction expansion of R to even, R to even, or even to R should give the should give the positive positive quotient. Okay, so it will divide just there. Even to R, then R to even can divide just there. When the positive quotient is there, then we can say that that given function is a Hurwitz polynomial. It is fourth property, right? Uh, straight away, what am I now? Then we right okay right if you don't really now you divide this by using continued uh, fraction expansion if you divide s power 4 uh, this even by odd s square plus 4 you divide with right uh, divide with this odd terms that is s cube plus 3s if you see here uh, any times possible at number s cube into s power 4 and one one time that is s power 4 plus 3s into s that is 3s square right so this is get cancelled so therefore minus 2s square plus 4 right now you divide this continued fraction right tell us right now you divide this s cube plus 3s s cube plus 3s with minus 2s square plus 4. Put your number. But s cube in the, but 2s square in the. How many times it is possible? Any times multiply to your number. 2s square. And the resulting calls in the s cube raw value. 2s square in the, okay? s by 2. 2 to get cancel. Right? So if you multiply this 2s square with s by 2. you will get s power 3 right so this two to get cancel so if you multiply uh, so my calls need to plus s cube and then, so here you have to multiply with minus s by 2 okay minus s by 2 into minus 2s square minus of minus plus two to get cancel so then for s power 3 s power 3 plus plus into minus minus 4 into s by 2 Okay, 2s. Right, this s cube, s cube will get cancelled. So therefore, this is 5s. Now you divide this 5s with uh, 2 minus 2s square plus 4. Clear? I put your number. When the resulting cover is minus 2s square cover, and then you will get 5s, 5s. So, by what fraction, if you multiply this, then you will get this 2s square. Okay, 2s square. Right? Okay, so, you will get this 2s square. Right? So, you will get this 2s by 5. So, you will get this 5, 5 get cancel out. Okay? Minus 2s square. Minus, minus 2s by 5 to multiply this, then you will get this fraction. Minus 2s square, then you will get this. Right? So therefore, I am going to do 5s in here. 5 into s in here. Get the minus 2s by 5 to test it. 5 by cancel out in here. Minus 2s square out in here. Minus 2 by 5 into s. Right? So therefore, here we will get it as minus 2s square. Right? So this is get cancelled. So, 4 in here. Now, you 
divide this uh, over with 5s. Okay? I mean, calls me into the 5s call. I mean, there are 4 only. Right? We need to make 5 by 4. 5s by 4 to this, we get 5s. Therefore, plus 5s by 4. We get as 5s. So this 5s, 5s get cancelled. So finally, we get 0. Now, if you see these quotients, these are all quotients. Okay? If you get these all quotients are positive, even if positive is there, then the given function is a curved polynomial. But if you see here, here we got it as the negative, and here we got it as a. These two questions are negative. 